Hi friends, so I am back with another reading vlog and I'm kind of cheating because I have already started Every Summer After by Carly Fortune and let me just tell you I am obsessed. I right now currently am 130 pages in so I'm on chapter 9. I started this two nights ago I think or maybe three it might have been Saturday night but I finished the summer I turned pretty trilogy and then I was reading starting this and honestly I made myself start it right after the summer I turned pretty trilogy because I was like if I don't I'm gonna be in a reading slump and the last thing I want is to be in a reading slump so I forced myself to start this book I think it was Saturday night but I only got about 20 pages in and I wasn't feeling super into it yet but then Sunday I started reading and I got about 80 pages in and became obsessed. I think that Sam is probably my new favorite book boyfriend. Honestly, he is so sweet and I love the whole doctor aspect of who he is. So if you don't know anything about this book, let me just real fast tell you some of what it's about. So basically the plot is this girl named Persephone, Percy for short. Her family moves to a little lake house and it's set in Canada. I think Toronto, she lives in Toronto. I'm not sure where the cabin is set. Billy's, Belly's Bay, Billy's Bay, Barry's Bay <laughs> in Barry's Bay. And she has this neighbor whose name is Sam, who has an older brother named Charlie and then a mom named Sue. And so Percy becomes really close with Sam. They become best friends. So it's like your best friends to lovers trope. But the thing that you don't know is that Percy did something to somehow ruin their relationship. And so they fall apart. They're not close anymore. She has her own life in the city and she hasn't talked to Sam in... I think 12 years. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was like 12 years that they, I don't know. Let me double check because I are 15 years ago. So it's telling the story from the old perspective of when they were children and they just spent the summers together on the lake and then it flashes forward to now when Percy has to go back for a weekend and I won't say why it does say on the back but I don't want to spoil it if you're interested in reading this book I won't say any more spoilers but I will say I am addicted I love the dynamic between Percy and Sam so far I love just them bantering I love how serious he is but then he's also goofy and silly with her and just like the instant connection that they had and the way that they talk to each other and the way that they became friends and just how sweet he is like I just read the part where she's back in the cabin for I think she's back for like New Year's Eve or something like Christmas break and Sam is in the basement with his friends and she comes in and he's like so excited to see her and just like you can tell he's authentic, he's excited, and he doesn't hide anything even in front of his guy friends. So like all in all, he is the sweetest. But I'm definitely addicted to this now and I want to know what she did because I have no idea what she did to ruin their relationship. I think some maybe she got with Charlie, his older brother or something. I don't really know. I'm really excited to find out because it messed up their relationship sam was done with her and she's been doing her own thing for like the last 15 years so i'm like what happened i need to know so i'm gonna keep reading and keep you guys updated I'm sitting and reading outside while Ty's working on stuff with the car. We got these roof rails for it that look really cool. So when he needs my help, I'm helping. But other than that, I'm reading. And I'm now 188 pages in, still loving it. Basically like just over halfway through. And I'm very excited to find out what is going on in this book. 
There's Ty putting the new roof rails on. Last one. Those look cool. Cool, cool, cool. Do you yeah, like them? Tighten these. Return these to lock. Oh, that's cool. Okay, little book update. I'm almost done. I'm on page 270, if you can see. And I'm feeling very conflicted. If you've read this book, then you might know why. I'm not going to spoil it, but I was pretty set on one of the brothers, the main, the main one. I was pretty set on Sam. And now I'm a little... I don't know how I'm feeling, but I'm almost done with it, so I'm going to try to finish it tonight. But I thought that I had this figured out, and I think I was right, and now... Now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting the plot twist. So... Mmm. This is so good. <laughs> this is so... I'm invested. I need to know. I need to know right now. <laughs> I think I have a new favorite book. It's definitely one of my favorites. I don't know why I'm getting so... I'm like crying. It's not sad, but I'm like crying. Oh, every summer after. I love this book with my whole heart. The writing the metaphors and the imagery of the lake and the relationship oh. <laughs> it's so good mm. wow i love this book i'm really happy that i own her other book because <sighs> wow this is definitely a five star read for me i love this book in the way that it ends I was so conflicted earlier and now I just feel, I won't go into any details because I don't want to give spoilers, but I was so conflicted. I'm not conflicted anymore. Emmy's rubbing on the camera as she likes to do, but oh my goodness. I definitely loved this book. Five star read. I definitely want to read it again. There was a lot in here that I wanted to highlight or underline. I just loved so. I mean, I just loved the writing. I thought the imagery was so good. And the characters, like Percy, I think is so relatable. Like the I don't deserve him. I'm not good enough. Like, oh, <laughs> I just, mm, yeah, I think Percy is probably, she's super relatable. She's probably the most relatable character for me that I've ever read. So I'm like, oh, that just adds to it. Man, oh man. And like, my hometown is right on Lake Michigan, so all the lake stuff, I was just like, yes, that is my childhood. That is my hometown, small town feel. Like, I love this book so much. Oh my goodness. I also figured out that the way to overcome, like, getting into a reading slump, which I think I could easily do after reading this one because it was so good, is to immediately read something right after you finish. Even if you just start it, like just start another book right away and then you'll keep reading and it helps with not getting into a reading slump. So I'm going to start her next one, Meet Me at the Lake, but I love this book. I love this book so much. Five stars. I'm very excited. Carly Fortune, new fave author. Like, one of my favorites. I loved this so much. So addicted. Wanted to keep reading it. Man. Man, oh man. <laughs>